Even the fucking zombies and the gibs in the trees. Ain't no fucking chirping birds here. It's but fucking. Captain Percy Freeman, why don't you hit the shower, sir, and get dressed? You wanted by command. Come with me. I don't think you want your shoes, Shine Mac. I knew a guy who got blasted all over the street. When those guys put a grenade in that damn shoebox. He set it down and exploded. You can guess what happened next. That's right, all hell broke loose. Yeah, and I'll tell you another thing. You better put that wallet in a place that's safe. If you don't, you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna get ripped off, and I'm not loading you any more money. Go right on in, sir. Captain Percy Freeman, 718th Airborne. Damn, I thought you were dead. Why, it's a pleasure to meet you, Freeman. Have some of this roast moose, imported specially from Canada. This is a picture of Colonel Bob Kurtz. He used to be in command of a small outpost up the Nuang River. There's a conflict in every human heart, Freeman, between the rational and the irrational, good and evil, light, in darkness. Good does not always triumph, i.e. Attila the Hun, Genghis Khan, and our man in Moscow, Joseph Stalin. Precisely. Recently, the Colonel's methods have become unsound. We've tried to recall him from the field, but it seems he's no longer taking orders from us. Essentially, we've lost contact with him. Fine, Colonel Kurtz, Captain. Take him out, and I don't mean dinner and dancing. I want you to terminate the colonel's command, Captain. Terminate with extreme prejudice.
The route is complicated and dangerous, so we've decided to give you a grunt to help you on your mission. Barney, come on in. This is Barney. I'll be goddamned if I know what his last name is. He ain't the brightest candle on a birthday cake, but he's as strong as a mule. He can get you out of all sorts of sticky situations. You do understand, Captain, that this mission does not exist, nor will it ever exist. This way, Captain. How's it going, sir? Hey, sir! Good morning, sir. How's it going, sir? Hey, sir! Me too, honey. Mila, you long time. Okay, okay, I tell you everything. He look like a man. Hey, Joe. Which way to Ho Chi Minh 12? One GI, I say you nice Sanganda. You take home to your daughter. You will be my friend. I should be many friends. Looks pretty quiet around here. Ah! 
Can't. Come on, come. See, I don't leave. Don't leave now. I have many things to show you. I I give you good information. I show you all kind of things. I tell you about the girls. Good morning, sir. Hey, sir! Over here, Freeman! Don't do it, sir. It's a trap. You idiot, sir. You walked right into it. Shall we try to shoot our way out, or wait and see what they want? choice. He said he wouldn't be my friend if I didn't tell him. I hope that you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm afraid I can't allow you to continue, Captain. The Colonel's a great man. I personally admire what he's trying to do. The man can't control him anymore. Sounds like he really pissed them off this time. Hell, I know his methods are a little unorthodox, but he's gonna win this war. You can just go ahead and dispose of them, boys. Holy shit! He's got a grenade! Hello, Randai. You'll be my friend. I show you many things. I show you all kinds of things.
What the hell kind of animal was that? It looks a bit like roast turkey. Where can a grunt get a cold beer around here? Come on, someone give it up. Mama-san to run that whiskey up to the DMZ for us when this is all over. I'm gonna make some boots out of that.
be around here. Come on, someone give it up. Okay, sir, I'll secure this area. Sir? There's an army base not far from here, sir. I think we might be able to reach it in this truck. I can hotwire it. Get in the truck. This is it, sir. But something doesn't look right. Where is everyone? Okay, who's gonna be the one to bribe Mama Sam to run that whiskey up to the DMZ for us? Jesus Christ, that smells bad. It smells like my mother-in-law. in my trophy room.
Where's Mama sign? Gotta be a place around here somewhere. <laughs> Look, sir, a radio. I might be able to get it working. Repeat! He read me! It's no good, sir. No one has responded. This place is dead. Good! That'll make things easier. We'll blanket the area of napalm first, and then airdrop the ground troops in to clean up. By the way, any sign of Freeman yet? No, sir. He's been into the base. We were afraid to fall without your orders. With any luck, the creatures will have got him by now. Okay, what if any grunt gets some bammy bam short time? Where's mama sign? Gotta be. That injury may need some attention, sir. Sorry, sir. I'll stand fast and await further orders.
Okay, where can a grunt get a cold beer around here? Come on, someone give it up.
This is bullshit. I can sit on my... Okay, sir. I got your six. Get in the truck, Captain.
Hold on, sir. This is gonna be hot. Looks like we got rid of them. Better lay low for a while. You see those creatures out there? Not a living human to be seen. This whole town's gonna be like that. You want my opinion, sir? This mission is Fubar, and we are up shit creek without a paddle. I miss my mommy. If you kill me, the creatures will smell my fresh blood and they will come. The bear kid will not hold much longer, but you not hurt me. You are a good American GI. I am not seeing American too for a long time now, but it is okay. I speak good American as you can see. Ah, I know who you are. You are the Captain Percy Freeman. It was a pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, I thought you were dead for sure, Captain. My name is Pan Doctor. I am an officer from Arvin. I am ordered to give assistance to your mission. This is town of Dong Hoi. You want to go up river? I know good path. I'll show you where to go. But first we must go to town. And town is now controlled by General from the north. General Long Dong. She invaded town and set up. How you say, uh, new government, yeah. The people support him partly because he keeps the creatures under control and partly out of the fear of his army. He has no liking for Americans. He say they bring the creatures. It is the Americans fault the creatures are here. So you see why me must be careful. I can take you on safe path through town, but I need, a uh, payment. You see, I am a poor man. I must feed and defend my family. The creatures are everywhere. Money is not useful here anymore. But we can make deal, and you give me all your nice weapons. I can take you on safe path through town. Otherwise, I cannot do. You agree? I don't like the looks of him, sir. He looks a bit suspicious to me. I say we take our chances on our own. Well, killing him was a bit harsh, but shit happens, I guess. War is hell. Look, sir, he had a key on him. I bet it's for this door here. Yep, fits perfectly. If there was any truth in what he said, sir, then this town sounds like a dangerous place. Maybe we better split up. You stay here and guard the truck, and I'll scout out the area. You better make sure that barricade is sound. In case the creature smell his blood and come looking for you like you said.
Thank God you got me out of that hellhole. General Don would have fed me to the creatures in his big stadium in the center of town, for sure. Everyone watches the cons there. He needs to make an example of someone to discourage the locals from disobeying his regime. Everyone lives in fear of that bastard. Him and the creatures. I thought I'd never get out of this place. But let's get moving. One of my buddies ought to be waiting with a plane in a hidden airfield near here. There's an American outpost further upriver. Help them out. Come on. You son of a bitch. Bring it on! I'm gonna bring you down! Sir! Oh, god damn! Oh, I'm hit! Oh, this feels real great! Oh, god damn! Thank God you got me out of that hellhole. General Don would have fed me to the creatures in his big stadium in the center of town, for sure. Everyone watches the cons there. He needs to make an example of someone to discourage the locals from disobeying his regime. Everyone lives in fear of that bastard. Him and the creatures. I thought I'd never get out of this place. But let's get moving. One of my buddies ought to be waiting with a plane in a hidden airfield near here. There's an American outpost further upriver, which is still holding out against the creatures. Boyne Ra Bang Noi Firebase. We should be able to make it up there and help them out. Come on. Good morning, sir. What's next? Ah, I'm not yes, sir. sir. I'm right what can I do you. for you, sir?
Look out! It's the enemy! out of that. Come on, let's get out of here. Move it, move it, move it. Everybody, move it, move it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, dear God. No. No. Those bastards got Bob. <laughs> ah! Dear God, no, the bastards got Bob. Oh, I get the duty of staying behind and securing your asses. Now don't forget about me.
Attack! Attack! Enemy! Attack! Attack! Look one GI, I say your name sank under. You take home to your daughter. Attack! Attack!
I tell you everything, you look like a man. You're not touching Charlie Moore? He made me pregnant, like Jack. Alright, which one of you is going to run up the hill and uh, figure out a way we can get her to uh, help us out? Jesus. God darn. You know that postcard I wrote and I told you to send to my wife? I think you should mail that damn thing off. This is this is freaking nuts.
This is Sergeant Kilmore. Captain Freeman, damn it, I thought you were dead. I mean, uh, listen, Captain, a lot of my men got killed in Raccoon Base this morning, and I've changed my mind about Kurt. I want to help you. Give me your position, and I'll airlift you out of there. Thanks, Captain. I'll come and rescue you immediately. Come call. Come call. Okay, let's gear up. We're moving out.
Sorry about that landing, sir. I never could get the hang of it. I suck at parallel parking, too. Looks like we're gonna have to dig our way out of here. Hey, you're Captain Percy Freeman. I thought you were dead. I was told to look out for you. The CO here wants to talk to you. He's got a message for you. He says it's from the high ups in Saigon. He said he'd be in Hangar B. Good luck getting there, though. The creatures cut us off from them several days ago. Last I heard, they were under heavy siege. Boy, I'm glad to see you. Now I can get the hell out of here. You're an asshole of the world, Captain. Okay. I'll the bride, Mama. Okay. I'll stand Hold faster and wait for the orders. Sir. Watch that, Roger sir. That, sir. Roger Roger that, sir. Roger Roger that. sir. Move Let's that. go.
enemy!
Yes, sir. Okay, watch that, sir. We're moving out. Let's go! Oh, man. Thanks, Doc. Jeez. That was the killer, man. Sick of these things. Oh, I'm gonna kill them. Yeah, come here, zombie. Yeah, you can wrap your freaking head off. This is pure fucking insanity, man. Our own fucking side. These guys are totally clueless. They think we're working for Kurtz. We're in a world of shit. Sir.
Yes, sir. Saving up all my pay, and it's time to start spending it. Let's Check in! Sir, you can move out any time. Hey, 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 come here! Right over there. The enemy! Okay, sir. I got your six.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What can I do?
Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What can I do? Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. I thought you were one of them. There's a whole bunch of us holed up in Hangar B. I stationed here as a sentry, but the creatures got in and cut off my retreat. They killed three of my buddies, those bastards. And then Bob owed me money as well, and I'll never get that dollar back. And anyway, they got a radio over there, and we can contact them before we can get this thing to work. But it keeps coming up with this error message saying I lack the intelligence to operate it. I'm sure as hell none of the standing issue ones used to do that.
Well, we are safe. We are safe enough on my way. And it's time to start spending. Let's go downtown. Get some beers and some girls. What do you say? Calhoun, requesting assistance. You read me. Read me loud and clear, Private. What's your position? We're in the other hangar. You boys want to let us through? Roger that. We'll have the barricade down in a moment. You go, sir. I'll stay here and just sort of twiddle this knot. Make a hole, make it wide, I'm coming through. Sorry, sir! Sorry, sir! Yes, sir! Well, the way I see it, I've been saving up all my pay, and it's time to start spending it. Let's go downtown, get some beers and some girls. What do you say? Make a hole, make it wide, I'm coming through. Make a hole, make it wide, I'm coming through. Sorry, sir! Sorry, sir! Make a hole, make it wide, I'm coming through. Sorry, sir! Make a hole, make it wide, I'm coming through. Yes, sir! Sir, unlock the loaded. Yes, the doors would be locked up there to keep the creatures out. I would assume. Morning, sir. Everybody's up. I uh, greet them and they're ready to go.
and clean. There's a whole bunch of creatures coming your way. They all drop in at once and you'll see them. I'm going to get started to hide. It looks like they need it on the thing. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I've got you. Yes, sir. I'll secure this area. Sir? You can move out any time. Roger that, sir. Let's go!
forget about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. Christ, that smells like him. It smells like his mother in law. Yes, sir!
bottle with this tiger. Oh, Yes, sir. Watch that, sir. We're moving out. Let's go. I can deal with this fucking VC and NDA, but these monsters are walking dead things. These things are really freaking me out. I've been getting double dosages of the purple shit from the doc, but that doesn't seem to help much. No, no, these, these fucking relaxants, they call them. Those things just let me stay awake even longer, it seems. I don't think a fella can normally stay awake more than four days without having fucking sleep and functioning right. I'm really wondering, man, if, if we're putting for some big freaking experiment or something. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Watch that, you. sir. I'm moving out. Let's go! Yes, sir. Oh, 
see my sister. Yes, sir. Getting the fucking hell out of here. Listen, Jones, if you freeze up on me one more time, you are dead. Do you understand? We're gonna throw you out there for bait. Don't freeze on me. 
What's gonna be better, me or do you want them to take you out? Which one? Me or them? They're gonna gnaw your head off! Keep it down, man. They'll hear you. There you are, zombie. I've been looking for you. Sir? Mama-san, gotta be a place around here. 
somewhere. I can see you're trying to flee. You're running from this undead enemy. You are here to kill a hero within. Your chances to complete this mission are starting to look slim. Fighting the undead seems impossible to win. Your heart's pounding at every corner. Your fears are catching up on you. Life was much better once before. But now you're one step from hell's door. The mission was simple, just to kill a man. A man among men, or maybe a myth. You first thought this mission was important to do. You further your career, and the country still. But as time passes, you see the truth. You begin to ask yourself, is this all a mistake? Am I just a pawn for men to close the door?
Do they want to continue this war in their own way? Or maybe Kurtz is doing what they could never do. I ask myself again, should I continue this quest? To kill a hero who is America's best? I ponder this question that is haunting me as I'm senselessly hunting a god or an enemy. I'm now considering another plan. I could put an end to this heart of evil and Nam. My plan is simple and clear to me. But first, I must find Kurtz and then I will see. Look, sir, it's an old Cambodian Buddhist temple. Shit, those aren't nice. Get on the boat's gun, Captain. Master's got Bob.
run and get some bammy bam short time. Where's Mama sign? Gotta be a place around here somewhere. See something move out there? Where'd he go? I could swear I saw someone just crouching in these bushes here. Well, maybe it's just my imagination.
Freeman, <coughs> help me.
I've seen horrors. Horrors that you've seen. But you have no right to call me a murderer. You have a right to kill me. You have a right to do that. But you have no right to judge me. It's impossible for words to describe what is necessary to those who do not know what horror means. Horror. Horror has a face and you must make a friend of horror. Horror and mortal terror are your friends. If they are not, then they are enemies to be feared. They are truly enemies. Our work here must be understood as a means to an end. It is in fact the only means by which that end can be properly accomplished. The end is both good and moral. We are here entrusted with the duty of achieving it. To claim that it can be achieved, that it has ever been achieved by means that might be considered more civilized, is to lie. It is a cowardly lie. The generals, they understood it was a lie, but they tried to stop us anyway. They wanted to keep it hidden beneath the facade of civilization. I hated them for it. Those... those nabobs. So I broke with them. They sent you to kill me, but now they are afraid that you will see the truth as well. They want to kill me, yet keep me hidden from everyone, including the assassins. But they cannot do both. You know what you have to do, Captain Freeman. And they're going to make you a major for it. And welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel.
They train young men to drop fire on people, but won't allow them to write the word fuck on their airplane because it is obscene.
Hi, I'm Gavin Kaczkowski, and this is the Ten O'Clock News. Why is Brig Panic engulfed the nation of South Vietnam this morning, amidst reports that a strange and violent new species of animal has infested the countryside? Senior government figures early denounced the rumor as an elaborate hoax, but the number of eyewitnesses is growing by the hour. In today's press conference, President Johnson calls for calm. I want to assure y'all that we have the situation completely under control. We're working hand in hand with the government of South Vietnam to prepare a report on the situation and establish the truth. Bullshit! Cover me. The situation in Vietnam still had a perfect day as two floors and two out of Providence and Hill's night. Every bombing has so far failed to halt the creatures back, and the number of civilian casualties can only be guessed at. Uh, yeah, we're under that control. I've been trying to get in contact with people on the ground and get this vibe. We were supposed to be rendezvousing with them in about 15 minutes, but we've been trying to get a lot of things to fire. We've been moving to the war center, and uh, we were trying to get in there to help these people out. We've not been getting in contact with the COS, so uh, whoever's left alive down there, drop the back on this boat. I repeat, we're trying to get in contact with the people on the ground in Sector 5.